Okay, our class today is about Boolean algebra. In this class, we will talk about Boolean operation and expression and law and rules of Boolean algebra. For Boolean operation and expression, you will have the operation of addition and multiplication. For addition, usually represent by OR gate or or operation and for multiplication usually by AND gate for the boolean operation expression you will have commutative and associative commutative will have for commutative addition and commutative law of multiplication for commutative law of addition for example if you have a plus B, it will be equals to B plus A. If you have the input A and B, either you plus 0 plus 0 A, it will equals to 0 or B A. 0 plus 0 also 0 as the output. So it's the same if a plus B or B plus A. That is called commutative law of addition. Next is commutative law of multiplication. It's represented by N gate. If you have, for example, A times B will be equal to B plus A, B times A, sorry. So A, B is equal to B, A. A, B. B, A. So, 0 times 0, also 0. That's the output. 0 times 0, also. Output will be 0. This is associative law of addition. For the associative law of addition, for example, A plus, in the bracket, B plus C, equals to A plus B, plus C. So you can do either way and it will give you the same answer. For the associative law of addition, so associative law of multiplication, so you can do A times B times C will be equals to if you times A times B first, then times C. The output also will be the same. Next, we take a look for the rules of Boolean algebra. There is 12 rules for Boolean algebra. The first one is A plus 0 is equal to A. A plus 0 represent by all gate. 1 plus 0 will be equal to 1. 0 plus 0 will be equal to 0. So it will depend on the input of A. Next, Boolean's rules number 2. A plus 1 equals to 1. If you do the operation plus by all gate, if you give the input 1, 1 plus 1 is equals to 1. 0 plus 1 also equals to 1. So that's why A plus 1 equals to 1. Next is Boolean rules number 3. A times 0 will be equals to 0. If you have the input A is 1, 1 times 0 will be 0, 0 times 0 is also 0. So either you give 1 or 0 for the A, it will be 0. So that's why A times 0 will be 0. Next is Boolean truth number 4, A times 1 equals to A. Whatever you times 1, A it will be depends on the value of A. For example, if you have A equals to 0, 0 times 1 will be 0. If A equals to 1, 1 times 1 equals to 1. So, depend on the value of A itself. Either A is 0 or 1. Next is Boolean rules number 5. A plus A equals to A. For example, if you have A is equal to 0, 
0 plus 0 equals to 0. 1 plus 1 equals to 1. So, it depends on the value of A itself. See? Next, go to the Boolean rows number 6. A plus A bar equals to 1. A bar, if you give the input 1, it will invert the input to be, output will be 0. A plus A bar. For example, if A is 0, A bar will be 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. If A equals to 1, so bar will be 0. 1 plus 0 still equals to 1. So that's why A plus A bar equals to 1. Next, Boolean's rules number 7. A times A is equals to A. Whatever you times A is become to A. It depends on the input A. For example, if A is equal to 0, 0 times 0 is 0. Depend on A. A, 0, the output 0. A equals to 1. A times, 1 times, sorry, 1 times 1 is equals to 1. So, it depends the input of 1 A. Easy, right? Next, go to the Boolean's rules number 8. A times A bar is equals to 0. For example, if you have A equals to 1, A bar will be 0. 1 times 0 will be 0. A equals to 0. A bar will be 1. 0 times 1 is still 0. That's why the output will be 0. The rules number 9. A double bar is equals to A. It's just like you have two inverter. You give the input 0. The inverter will invert the input become 1. 1 invert again become 0. That's why A double bar is equal to A. If you have the input 1, go to the inverter, it will be 0. And then 0, go to inverter, invert again become 1. So it will be A. Rules number 10. A plus AB. A plus AB is rules number 10 equals to A. How is become A? Just look like you have A. So you take out 1 plus B like that. Take A together. So 1 plus B is equals to 1. Is follow the rules number 2. Here. So A times 1 you got A. That's why A plus AB equals to A. Next is rules number 11. Rules number 11, A plus A bar B is equal to A plus B. So, it's apply the rules number 10. For the rules number 10, for example, you have A plus AB plus AB. So, A plus A, here, if you expand this, it's become A times A. And then you got AB plus AB bar. So, this one, you expand again, A, A times A plus A times B, so equals to this one is actually A, A bar is, is 0. A times A bar is 0. So, plus A bar B. Okay. A bar B. Then, you do a factoring. So, actually, if you factor A times A is A, A. A times B is A, B. A times A, A, A bar. A times A bar is A, A bar. A bar times B is A bar B. So, by doing this, you know that you got A plus A bar times A plus B. So, A plus A bar is 1. So, that's why you got A plus A bar B is equals to A plus B. So, that's rows number 11. And next is rows number 12. For rules number 12, 
a plus b times a plus c is equals to a plus b c. So if you do like this, a times a, so you got a a, a times c, you got a c, a times b, you got a b, b times c, you got b c. A times a is equals to a, so you got a c, a b, b c. So simplify this one, you got a times 1 plus c plus a b plus b c. 1 plus c is equals to 1, so it's become a times 1. So take this one down. So you got this one. You can simplify to 1 plus B. So it's equals to 1. So you got A plus B, C. That's fourth rule for Boolean algebra. It's easy, right? So you, sim you can simplify this in this table. Let's take a look for example. Practice one. For example... Simplify the boolean, boolean simplify the following boolean expression. Y equals to a b plus a times b plus c plus b times b plus c, like here. So you multiply this one going inside and this one going inside there. Expand them. So you got a b a b a c b b b c. B B is B. Where is B B? So this one like that. B B is B. So this one is A B A B. So you got A B plus B is equals to B. So you got from here, take down you got A B A C. B B is B plus B C. B plus B C you can simplify. It's become B. Just apply rules number 10. A plus AB is equals to A. B plus BC is equals to B. Then you can simplify again. AB and B. AB plus B is equals to B. So for this equation, you got Y equals to B plus AC. It's easy, right? Next, we go to this one. This is the circuit to show how the simplification have been done. If you have y equals to a b plus a times b plus c plus b times b plus c. So you got a long equation like that and it's involved all five logic circuit. And if you simplify, you got only two logic circuit, which is y equals to b plus a c. Okay, next. For the example practice number two, you got A, B bar times A, C bar plus A bar, B bar, C. Can you do simplification for this? Okay. First is you need to apply De Morgan theorem. This De Morgan theorem, I will teach you later in the next chapter but we can do practice first for if using de morgan theorem so you can just break a plus b bar bar times a plus c bar bar plus a bar b bar c so you got factor them a, A bar, plus A bar, C bar, plus A bar, B bar, plus B bar, C bar, plus A bar, B bar, C. A bar times A bar is equal to A. So you got A over here. A plus A C plus a, B, so from here, you can simplify A, B, 1 plus C. For A, B, 1 plus C,
a bar b bar so you can simplify this with the this one you got a bar b bar 1 plus c got b bar c bar like that so a bar plus a okay like that so this one is equals to 1 so you got a bar plus a bar c bar plus a bar b bar plus b bar c bar okay from here a plus a c so you got a plus a c over here so you got 1 plus c bar Okay, 1 plus C bar. So you got 1, which is A plus A bar, B bar, plus B bar, C bar. Okay, so A bar plus A bar, B bar, plus B bar, C bar. So from here, you can do like A bar. 1 plus B bar plus B bar C bar. So 1 plus B is 1. So final answer you got A bar plus B bar C bar. That's all for my class today. Thank you very much for listening.